Yo, shalom, my people. Squab again, man. If y'all watching the news, any of these things, man, you'll see. I keep talking about the um, the debt thing. I mean, you know, the whole debt solution thing that um, Obama and them is all speaking on. This is why welfare and all the so-called free programs are really the worst things ever because when they take them from you, which this is what they're about to do, they're about to take the programs away. And see, if they had did this, which they might do on um, August 2nd or whatnot, but if they take this away, then you got millions and millions and millions of people who depended upon getting their money from the government. So they completely depended on them. All the unemployment people, um, social security, all of this, which they can't help it because they work for that. But the people that's just sitting back collecting welfare and collecting money for this, that, and the third, and trying to milk the system, saying that, no, this is free money, why should I work when I can get free money? But you never was thinking ahead to times like right now. So if they come out and take this away from you, you're completely lost. You'll end up having to do anything that they ask of you, anything they ask of you to do. And let's get some scripture to back this up because people don't even realize it right now that they're slaves. If you're in debt right now, according to the Bible, you're a slave. And most of us really are because if you're not sovereign, then you still fall into this category. Proverbs 22 and 7 says, The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Again, that servant means slave. He's a slave to the lender. So, they've set up this false artificial system that's surrounding the people, and they're only thinking that they're free. It's a great trick. I'm going to read it again. It says, The rich ruler over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. So, again, if you a servant, I mean, if you owe debt, then you're a servant, a slave. Which, again, if you don't study the straw man thing, most of us are anyway. Y'all need to check my man Taza Doc videos out for that. You know what I mean? He got it down. So, if, if, if you're in this system, which when you look up the words like domesticate and civilized, you're going to realize that they took you out of your normal, natural state of being and quote unquote said that they civilized you, which really just means that when they took you away from, if, if, if they turn the lights, the gas, the water, and all that stuff off, them people that we look at, that people will look down on, that's out there with bones in their nose and don't have on no clothes and this, that, and the third, it wouldn't matter to them one bit. So what you, I don't depend on it anyway. So what you turn the lights off? So what you turn the gas off? So what you turn the water off? They do everything in the woods anyway. But for us, right now, they snatch these things away from us. We're hit. We don't know what to do. Completely lost. Oh my God, they turn the water off. They turn the gas off. What do we do? You see, that's all they was doing. Back when they was testing, when they was testing the, um, the blackout thing. To see how, how everybody would react. So let's get uh, one another scripture. 
This is uh, James 2 and 6. It says, But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat? So these rich people are using this stuff as a tool to enslave you. Right in front of everybody's face. They're actually enslaving the people in front of everybody's face. And nobody sees it. But this is exactly what they're doing. They're bring, bringing you before the judgment seat. Because with their little schemes and plots that they're putting out there, most people are going to have to fall into the system and bow down to the image of the beast in order to feed their families, in order to quote unquote get a roof, have keep a roof over their heads. It's madness, man. So if you ain't paying attention, you should really be watching this whole debt ceiling thing. Again, millions and millions and millions, especially our people, are dependent upon this system for social security, for unemployment, for food stamps, or what, it, what is it now? Um, the little card, um, the WIC thing, or whatever it's called. The completely dependent upon this. So when they snatch this stuff away, and for all the years that you might have thought you was getting away and, and it was cool, man, this is free money, this, that, and the third, it's not. Because again, when they snatch it away from you, it's not going to be pretty. We know our people don't prepare for nothing. Because it's just thinking about from one check to the next, from Jordan, from this Jordan into the next Jordan, from this club to the next club, until that wears out. So if you ain't preparing for this stuff, man, it's going to hit you hard. It's going to leave you completely messed up completely messed up so he's definitely man y'all should be taking heed and definitely trying to put some things away put some stuff up man and get out of this false system you know what I mean everything that you're thinking is free is really really a disaster for you and with that Quab, I'm out. Shalom.